Oh, right through traffic. That was nice. On this sunny morning in July, all eyes are on the court. Oh, nice shot. Two teams comprised of wheelchair athletes played an exhibition game to kick off the 33rd National Veterans way. Wheelchair Games. The games brought to Tampa more than 500 veterans from around the nation to compete in 18 medal awarding athletic events. As a VA executive, I spent a lot of time back in Washington working on programs that are intended to serve the needs of our nation's veterans. So it's really wonderful to get out here, out of the office, into what we call a field, and actually see how these programs are helping veterans not just recover from illness and injury, but thrive, and in this case, compete. Just because you're, you're in a wheelchair doesn't mean, you know, your, your life is dead. Since 2000, Enrique Lopez, a veteran of the U.S. Navy, has been participating in the games. He says it's the camaraderie that keeps him on the court. I love seeing um, old friends, even though it's um, one time a year. And um, we have a camaraderie together, so you know, we, all, we, all, we all have something in common. The mayor takes his shot, rim, rims it out. During the exhibition basketball game, Mayor Bob Buckhorn found out what it feels like to play an adaptive sport. You really appreciate uh, what these disabled veterans go through every day. I mean, I had five minutes, they have a lifetime. And to see these amazing athletes and to see the enthusiasm and to see the willingness to look beyond a, a, a life-changing injury is inspiring to me. I mean, I, I just got a taste of it and it's, you know, I'm, they, I can't be any more in awe of these men. Mayor's wide open on the inside. This is Frank Crum for Spotlight Tampa.